Hi Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Okay. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. Taurus, what? Okay. So, Taurus, listen, you have the Knight of Swords. This is why. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Taurus, listen, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Taurus, listen, you could be sending out passionate messages. You could be receiving passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Taurus could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that, hey, you know, you're happy, you're over the moon here, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords again. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something here. Taurus, I'm so sorry. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're hurt, that your feelings are hurt. However, you can tell me you're hurt because there was a third party. Now, Taurus, listen, you guys could have had this confrontation. You know, something could have been illuminated. You guys had this heated discussion or argument. And some hurtful things may have been said here that hurt your feelings. But Taurus, you could also tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, that we found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion, and it caused a confrontation. And you're hurt because there was a third party. Taurus, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Taurus could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Taurus. Clarify temperance for Taurus. Clarify temperance for Taurus. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Taurus, listen, something could be going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack here. Yes, and maybe some type of compromise and negotiations gone bad here. However, Taurus, you can tell me that there was a breakup. Now, you can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own because of this breakup. You're hurt. Or you're still holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out after this breakup. Taurus, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed, yes. However, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, you're dealing with your soulmate and you're hurting your mourning here because you feel like this was so meant to be, okay? Your soulmate has you hurting here. Taurus. You have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Taurus, listen. You could have the spark of a new idea. You could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or someone starting a passionate new beginning. So Taurus, listen, some type of truthful communication could have came out in you guys' passionate communication because there is a confrontation happening here. Taurus, you can tell me that you're making a decision because they started a passionate new beginning with someone else, a third party here. Taurus, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, listen, you could be walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So yes, you may want to leave, but maybe even returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. 
It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're standing your ground or you're going to be persistent. So Taurus, I feel like you're highly suspicious. You don't trust and you're walking away, okay? You're discovering something that hurts you, okay? Taurus, you could also tell me that, you know what, maybe you're going to be persistent in return because you feel like this is your soulmate, but I, I doubt it. I feel like something is coming out that's causing a confrontation and causing you to walk away. Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for August 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week.